Let's check with meteorologist Kirk Greenfield now for another look at the forecast. Kirk, will we finish out the week with some nice weather? Well, first, we're going to have to go through a heat wave once more as we're looking at a heat advisory that's being posted for Friday afternoon. When we take a look at our current situation, the radar satellite composite shows just a few clouds, but no serious echoes at this point. So to answer your question, will we have a nice weekend? Yes, but we have to pay the price first. When we take a look at our view here on the Highmark West Virginia Sky Camp, 75 degrees, 82% relative humidity, winds out of the south at 7 and the pressure 29.88 inches and falling. When we take a look at our current temperatures, there's still 80 in Columbus and Cincinnati, 76 in Athens, 75 at Wheeling and Parkersburg, and 74 at Charleston. Breezes are now from the south, maybe 3 to 7 miles per hour, and they are pretty consistently being drawn all the way up to the Great Lakes. The regional heat index, basically what you see on the thermometer is what you get with a couple of 85s thrown in in western Ohio. When we take a look at the 24-hour temperature change, we're about 1 to 2 degrees warmer than we were yesterday at this same time. No radar echoes in the immediate vicinity, but when we zoom out, we can see the start of the next disturbance getting ready to run down from the Great Lakes into the Mid-Ohio Valley and through the region. Uh, part of it is being driven by a low pressure system that is just to the west of Michigan. But again, this is about the fourth or fifth line of storms that has pushed through, and it looks like it'll come basically down into the Mid-Ohio Valley as we follow future cast. It looks like it'll be here about 2.30 in the morning, and again, the bulk of it will be to the east of I-77, but this line runs all the way over into Indiana, and it does look like once it pushes through, we'll have a fairly quiet start to our Friday. Looks like a dry evening for the football games. However, there will be an explosion of some showers over Kentucky and also over in Indiana and Illinois later in the evening. Saturday's looking like it'll at least be cloudy as it begins, but it looks like it will be a nicer weekend. The convective outlook suggests that we're in the marginal category for severe thunderstorms as we go. The allergy alert says pollen levels are on a slight rise coming tomorrow with ragweed leading the pack. It is, after all, August. And the humidity forecast suggests we're very humid tonight. It looks like we're going to tumble back down into more muggy conditions and then not too bad as we get into Sunday. It looks fairly comfy, but we'll come back up to humid conditions as we start the work week. So the heat advisory, as you can see, is Meigs County in our viewing area and further to the south, the southern tip of uh, Ohio and into Kentucky. Uh, the majority of us are not under that advisory that is set to expire by 8 o'clock. That doesn't mean that it won't be warm. It just means we don't meet the heat advisory criteria. Now, the forecast suggests that we're up for a risk of storms tonight. 72 for the overnight low. Tomorrow's high, 90 with an isolated storm or two. And we're looking at the heat indices. It'll be up near 100 at times before we start to recover as we get out of the weekend.